It was 1883 when computer programming started. After centuries, hundreds of programming languages have come into existence in the quest to be the most agile and powerful enough to dominate the industry. A few impeccable ones manage to withstand the test of time, and a few seem a lot ahead of time. Now the question arises, which of these programming languages are the ones you should learn? So, you are already watching Simply Learn, and today we bring you the list of the top 10 programming languages to learn in the year 2023. At number 10, we have Rust. When the Achilles heel of C++ was revealed, many companies, including Dropbox, Firefox, Cloudflare, and many others, needed to find a solution to code safety. In 2020, Rust came into the picture. Rust is a multi-paradigm general purpose programming language developed by Firefox as an operational replacement for C++. But Rust was more capable than just offering memory and code safety. Rust's high performance compiler makes it ideal for processing heavy data loads. Currently, Meta, Amazon, Microsoft, and many organizations are dependent on Rust for several operations. The salary of a Rust programmer is 9 lakh rupees in India. In the United States of America, the salary is around $110,000 per annum. At 9, we have Go programming language, also known as Golang. Google designed a simple yet statistically typed programming language that is a brilliant combination of advanced memory safety and garbage collection with the simplicity of the C language. Golang was originally developed to support the programming for networking and infrastructure requirements. Go seemed to be a viable substitute for high performance programming languages like Java. Currently, Golang has a wide range of applications across cloud computing, server-side scripting, DevOps, and many more. Companies like Twitch, Uber, Dropbox, and Google have adopted the Go language. The average salary of a Go developer is 135,000 USD, and in India, the salary of a Go developer is 10 lakh rupees annum, based on your experience. Next, we have Kotlin. Many believe Kotlin is the future that surpasses Java. Peculiarly, there's more Java can do than just develop Android. Kotlin just makes things easier for Android when compared to Java. Both these powerful programming languages are put on head-to-head -head comparison in Android. But Kotlin is designed based on Java. Yes, Kotlin runs on JVM. More on the differences in our Kotlin vs Java video in the i button above. Meng and many more companies are active users of Kotlin. The salary of a Kotlin developer in India is 10 lakh rupees per annum, and in America, the salary is $140,000 per annum. At seven, we have SQL. Structured Query Language is one of the most successful languages and is considered an important skill for every programmer lately. SQL is a data language that is used to create data tables. It stores data, communicates with the database, and manipulates data to fetch the required results, which is a major part of data analytics. Companies like NTT Data, Microsoft, Accenture, and others use SQL. The salary of an SQL developer in India is 1,100,000 rupees and $100,000 in the USA. At six, we have TypeScript. TypeScript is Microsoft's yet another powerful programming language. TypeScript shares similarities with JavaScript, but follows strict syntactical practices with brilliant tooling at any scale. Companies like Accenture, Microsoft, and more use TypeScript. The salary of TypeScript developers in India is 2,200,000 per annum. In America, the salary is $160,000 per annum. At five, we have Swift. If you want to develop anything for Apple, Swift is your savior. Originally, Apple used Objective-C. It was one of the oldest programming languages that needed programmers to be well aware of a large variety of libraries. Objective-C was verbose and time-consuming to adapt. So, Apple developed Swift and migrated from Objective-C, dramatically minimizing the efforts and time required to develop software and applications for Apple devices. Apart from Apple, companies like Uber, Robinhood, and a few more financial companies are active users of Swift. 
Apple software developers are highly paid professionals. In India, Swift developers are paid 10 lakhs per year, and Swift developers bag about $90,000 per annum in America. Up ahead, we have C and C++, the humble languages of the entire clan of programming. C is titled the mother of all programming languages. The veteran programming language has contributed a lot to developing new languages, compilers, databases, and one of the most popular operating systems, Microsoft Windows. On the other hand, C++ is an advanced version of C with object-oriented programming abilities. C++ is used for web development, games, and much more. Companies like Microsoft, Netflix, and many more use these programming languages. The average salary of C and C++ developers in India is 10 lakhs per annum. In the USA, the salary is $120,000 per annum. Next, we have the top three programming languages you've been waiting for. At three, we have JavaScript, the most versatile and powerful language that turned the face of the internet. JavaScript is a leading programming language with the highest number of communities and active users worldwide. An astonishing number of 65% of programmers around the world use JavaScript. Sharing the podium are Python with 48% in the second and Java with 33% in the third. JavaScript is used majorly for web development by companies like Netflix, Google, PayPal, BigBasket, and more. The salary of a JavaScript developer in India is 1,600,000 per annum, and in the USA, the salary is $135,000 per annum. At number two, we have Java. Java is invincible among all languages. Java has the largest community, repositories, and support. It has spread its roots into every software framework, mobile application, big data, and operating system. You name it, Java did it. IT giants like Ming and many other IT firms use Java. The salary of a Java developer in India is 1,200,000 per annum, and in the USA, the salary is $120,000 per annum. Finally, our number one programming language is Python. Many believe that Python is one of the newest programming languages. As a matter of fact, it's a veteran programming language that is a lot older than Java. Python was developed keeping one thing in mind, simplicity. Python is not verbose and it comes with the most simplistic syntax. Python shares similar credibility as Java in terms of operations and has established its firm foot in the field of data science and data analysis lately. Ming and IT giants like Intel, Pixar, IBM, and more use Python. Pythoneers earn handsome salaries. The salary of a Python programmer in India is 1 million per annum, and in the USA, the salary is $150,000 per annum. That concludes our list of top programming languages for the year 2023. What are you waiting for? Get started with your programming journey with Simply Learn, where we offer courses for all the languages discussed. Links in the description. Let us know in the comments section which one is your favorite programming language and why. The evolution of programming languages have paved the way for new possibilities in the world of software development. Believe it or not, according to the Historical Encyclopedia of Programming Languages, we have 8,945 programming languages and counting. It's a natural law that nothing lasts forever. Likewise, despite their unparalleled caliber and contribution to the IT industry, there are a few languages going obsolete. The introduction of a few rookie programming languages makes the current ones look like their valor is coming to an end soon. Now, the question arises, which of these programming languages are the ones you should least focus on? We have created this video based on the trends, potential job opportunities, repositories, programmer communities, and surveys on websites like Stack Overflow and many more. So you are already watching Simply Learn, and today we bring you the list of the top 10 dying programming languages in the year 2023. At number 10, we have CoffeeScript. CoffeeScript is one of the lightest languages ever designed. CoffeeScript, a single-threaded and synchronous programming language, had fewer lines of code than JavaScript, would increase readability compared to its predecessor. 
CoffeeScript was adopted by major companies like Dropbox, GitHub, and many more to develop their browser side code. However, the latest migration chose JavaScript as a better alternative. As of January 2020, CoffeeScript was declared obsolete and is no more operational. At number 9, we have Ruby. With 6% of the worldwide programmers community, Ruby is in ninth place on our list for today. Ruby is extensively used in building web applications, data processing, automation, and many more. The most prominent of all its applications is Ruby on Rails, also known as ROR. It's highly believed that Ruby still has a lot of potential, but it's considered obsolete based on its competition. Allies like Python are comparatively less verbose, highly readable, and offer better code security than Ruby. Hence, slowly, Ruby is also becoming obsolete, if not completely dead. At number 8, we have VBA, Visual Basic. VBA was one of the most extensively used programming languages. Not only beginners, but also corporates also used VBA. The language could build high-performance tools to extract data from various sources. Companies like Microsoft, ArcGIS, AutoCAD, CorelDRAW, and LibreOffice used VBA to manage their internal operations. Microsoft's VBA currently shares 4% of the worldwide developer community. Despite being based on .NET, it is no longer updated by Microsoft, indicating its obsolescence. At number 7, we have Scala. Scala was a well-known language in the developers' community for a really long period. It is one of the most powerful languages that are based on Java, with the potential to process petabytes of big data. It's not because of performance, but because of the features, which most developers are unaware of. Yes, migration to Scala from Java is a little difficult as it offers a steeper learning curve. Also, Scala has a smaller developer community of 2.9% worldwide, making support scarce. At number 6, we have Objective-C. Objective-C has already established a firm foot in the world of application development, so much so that libraries it supports are nearly impossible to recreate with a new language. Objective-C was originally used by Apple to develop its applications for Apple devices. But due to its verbose nature, complex syntax, and outdated libraries, Apple made the switch to Swift for the ease of code readability and application development. With less than 2.5% of the worldwide developer community, Objective-C is close to becoming an obsolete programming language soon. At number five, we have Perl. Originally developed for script manipulation, Perl has turned out to be one of the go-to languages for web development. It is one of the most efficient open source languages for text manipulation. Despite its simplicity and efficiency, Perl comes with a major drawback. Perl fails to support portability because of CPAN modules. Programs run slowly and must be interpreted each time any changes are made. These drawbacks have resulted in the drop of developers in Perl. Currently, it has less than 2.3% of developers worldwide. At number 4, we have Haskell. With similar numbers, a 2.2% share of developers worldwide, we have Haskell. Earlier, Microsoft and similar companies depended on Haskell for their software development. Lately, Haskell has faced issues like no proper IDE support, complex syntax, and a steep learning curve. This forced developers to migrate to better alternatives. Also, Haskell's major disadvantage is its inability to support Android development. These are some of the significant reasons to turn Haskell into a fading programming language. Now we come to our top three most powerful yet obsolete languages. At number three, we have Fortran. Fortran had laid foundations in various domains for a decent period of 30 years. Everything was handled using Fortran, from designing bridges to aeroplanes and factory automation to data analysis. Such a glorious language also turned obsolete while facing the test of time. Developers soon had to migrate from Fortran due to a lack of dynamic memory, reliability, and unsafe code prone to cyber threats. Currently, less than 1% of developers worldwide are working with Fortran. At number two, we have Erlang. Erlang escalated telecommunications processes to new heights for Ericsson. Apart from telecoms, Erlang supported banking, e-commerce, computer systems development, and instant messaging services. 
Despite its capabilities to develop almost everything in the tech industry, the Achilles heel of Erlang was its complex debugging procedures and critical deployment issues. This resulted in the deterioration of the might of Erlang. Today, a handful of developers with less than 1% worldwide operate in Erlang. That brings us to our top programming language, which is slowly becoming obsolete. At number one, we have COBOL. COBOL is one of the languages from mainframe computer era. The early mainframe programming for business transactions, banking, and many more was handled by COBOL. Since its veteran programming language, it had a tougher verbose syntax with slow compilation and deployment. Today, with less than 0.5% of the developer community, COBOL is considered one of the legendary programming languages going extinct. That concludes our list of the top 10 dying programming languages for the year 2023. Which of these programming languages are the ones you like the most and wish they stay for a while in the IT industry? Let us know in the comments section which one is your favorite programming language and why. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this and share it with your friends and subscribe to Simply Learn to never miss out on any updates. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and keep learning.